Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew, the love doctor, and I specialize in breakups. We're catching people creeping lying and cheating in relationships. Today I'm going to be discussing red flag number 271. No ethical values with a narcissist. A subscriber on red flag number 268, the convention's cancellation, said, I'm truly sorry you had to cancel. Please don't quit. What I did had nothing to do with quitting. I canceled for the safety of all involved. It's called being responsible. I said this before. This is bigger than Lilith and myself. The internet is a dangerous medium filled with narc psychopaths and sociopaths. If you know anything about this behavior, you'll know that it was this was just the beginning of what could occur. Ethical egoism states that human beings often act in their own self-interest. The weakness of this principle is they don't consider the consequences. Prime example. I see a guy with money, so I decide to rob him. But while robbing him, I had to kill him. But I'm thinking it's okay to kill him because it's going to get me the money that I want. Narcissists don't see anything wrong with what they do. They will talk about it with pride. Even put it on a resume. I prevented a convention from helping people. How you manage to do that? I slandered the director and had people harass and intimidate the panelists. Narcissistic awareness is about informing everyone. We live in a narcissistic era where people are notoriously dangerous. Narcs don't believe in boundaries to say, I shouldn't do that. If they want to do something, they don't care who gets hurt or who suffers a loss. Egoism is about being selfish, selfish, lacking consideration for others, concerned chiefly with one owns personal profit or pleasure. Living with this philosophy, they don't care what others think because personal interests will be the driver of every decision and action they make. Considering someone else's feelings would never matter because it will always be a last thought within their minds. This occurs because we now live in a society with no ethical values where no one cares about doing the right thing. This is why there's so much callous infidel infidelity shootings, rapes, etc, etc, etc. Please watch Red Flag number 27, The Epidemic of Narcissism. We live in a society where people don't have scruples, which means to be reluctant to do something that may be wrong. People who have no scruples are considered to have a screw loose. Bugs Bunny referred to them as screwballs. The generation before us refer to it as lost morals. Have you ever heard the saying, common sense today is not so common? The reason for this saying is the way narcs behave, which is due to their upbringing originating from childhood. Either they were brought up spoiled, getting everything they wanted, or they didn't get what they wanted, or have mommy daddy issues. This is why saying I love you for some doesn't mean anything anymore. We live in a society where people have become desensitized to love. They can only treat you as good as they feel or have been treated. That's why people today are divorced twice and engaged three times. Something's mentally wrong with them, but they don't see it. That's why you have to know your worth to realize they were never worthy of you. Remember, I speak from experience, which makes it factual intelligence, knowledge. Doctors go to school for knowledge, then become a resident to acquire experience. I'm flipping it, doing it backwards. 
I was a resident with a narcissist and acquired experience. Then went back to school for knowledge. I live for this shit. To observe people's behaviors and to learn from them. And I'm excited to match the technical, scientific, psychological terminologies with the behaviors that I'm already familiar with. Both Pinky and Lilith never knew who their fathers were. Which is why Pinky's ratchet behavior is akin to Lilith's narcissistic conduct. Both behaviors are similar, which is why both my second and third books are deja vu with these individuals. Their mommy-daddy issues were discussed within the first book. What the hell happened? And this is coming from a woman, so you can't say I hate women. A lot of it came from how these young ladies were raised. What you see as a child molds your adult relationships. How her relationship was with her father or father figure determines how she will handle men in her life. And these are all things you should look at. Just like a woman dating a man will look at how his relationship is with his mother. If anything, you didn't fail in anything. It seems like these women are unstable. In my opinion is they need help. Prime example of no morals. Lilith's daughter on social media. Andrew has a small Andrew is a small dick motherfucker. My mother said his penis is so small he can't get it up. Lost morals. What mother discusses a man's penis size with her daughter? Lilith's daughter told me, and I've never forgotten it. And I quote Andrew. You will find my mom to be selfish. For a child to be saying that about their mother speaks volumes. And Lilith will be one shamelessly celebrating Mother's Day this weekend. Red flag! Whenever you see someone extremely self-centered, run! Because they will do anything to you. Prime example, they're capable of calling a fiance, they relocated twice after begging them to come live with them from another man's bed at 5 o'clock in the morning to tell them she's sleeping with someone else and have the man text the fiance she's in good hands. Then tell people she didn't cheat because when she last checked, she wasn't married. Or use an excuse on dummies. That she only did that to get rid of me. A person with scruples will say, I begged him, I begged that man to come back. I was engaged to him. I can't do that to him. Can you believe this mind fuck was done by a nurse that took the Hippocratic Oath? Sworn to beneficence and non-beneficence? Which means to do no harm to anyone. I'm taking psychology because I'm interested in hearing people's bullshit. So I can avoid it in future relationships and teach others to avoid it as well. To date, I have over 250 videos coaching people on narcissism. When I have finished my classes and I have a better understanding of what occurred, I will redo each video I made bringing you stronger perspectives of each topic. Psychologists are committed to increasing scientific and professional knowledge of behavior and people's understanding of themselves and others and use that knowledge to improve the condition of individuals and society. Which I'm already doing because I'm true to this. These knocks are black-hearted succubus that makes this a cold world, which leaves many people changed to their core. If someone treats you like crap, remember, it's something wrong with them, not you. Normal people don't go around destroying other human beings.